Hello, thank you for joining us here today. In this video, we're going to be going over creating simple campaigns within the Ringba platform. Campaigns are your plan of attack. They are how you choose to pay your publishers, set parameters, add platform integrations, and most importantly, track and route your calls. To create a campaign, select Campaigns on the sidebar menu. Click Create Campaign. Next, let's go ahead and give your campaign a name and select which country you'll be getting your calls from. Then press Create. As you can see in the General Info section, Ringba has already assigned us a campaign ID, and it shows us many more options and settings that allow us to customize our call flow. We have our Tracking ID input slot, which allows us to use third-party integrations. We have our Number Format, which allows us to tell Ringba what your incoming phone number will look like. Report Duplicate Calls allows you to track how many of your calls are actually repeat attempts. When this is identified in the system is up to the user, as you can select Connect, Incoming, or Call Length Greater Than. In the event of a duplicate call, you can decide where to route it with Route Previously Connected Calls. Next, we have a few simple switches. With Handle Anonymous Calls as Duplicates, you can decide if you want to treat calls where the caller ID is blocked as a duplicate call. With payout once per caller, you can allow only one payout to occur per caller ID, regardless of the publisher. You can then set if you would like to record the calls in your call flow. Ringba has this feature set to active as default. With wait for answer, you can decide if you would like to wait for the phone to answer before you start recording. With trim silence, you can automatically cut out the silent portions of your recording. Target dial attempts allows you to decide how many times you attempt to dial a number. Now that we know what each setting means, we can now establish our default payout settings. Scroll down to the Default Payout Settings section and select Add Campaign Payout Setting. Within the Payout Settings, you can select your payout type. You have Standard Fixed Amounts or Rev Share Percentage, also known as Revenue Share. While under Revenue Share, you can set the percentage of the revenue you wish to split and set limits on your payouts. Under Fixed Amount, you can set your Payout On setting to different actions such as Call Length when a call is successfully connected, Inbound Call, and Converted Call. Payout Amount allows you to set the amount of revenue you credit to your publisher for each conversion. You can also decide if you want to pay your publishers for duplicate calls. With Payout Hours, you can set during what time of day or hours of operation you wish to credit your publisher for calls received. Payout Limit allows you to set limits on your payout based on the amount of calls and concurrency. Press Add Payout and you have added your default payout settings. Now that we have finished setting up our default payout settings, we can add our publishers. Under Publishers, select Add Publisher and type in the name of your publisher of choice. Once you type in your publisher, create a new number and designate the type of number, toll-free or local. You can also set a prefix to have Ringba only select numbers with that preset. Press Add and you have added your publisher. Now we're going to set our target conversion. Let's scroll down the page to the Call Routing section. With the Target tab selected, you can either select New to add a new target, or if you already have the targets in your account, you can select them from the list below. If you select New, a pop-up window will appear that will allow you to enter in a new target. Start by giving your new target a name. You can then give your target a sub-ID if you'd like, then type in the buyer that owns this target. Type allows you to enter in either a regular phone number or a session initiation protocol, a SIP. SIP routing means using voice over IP instead of a traditional phone number to connect directly to a target. This leads to faster connection times, better voice quality, plus the ability to seamlessly pass data in the SIP header, which all result in better conversion rates for your calls. Setting type to SIP will allow you to enter in SIP-specific info, such as endpoint, username, and password. If you keep type set to number, next to number, simply input the number you wish to set as the target. Connection timeout allows you to set the time in seconds the system will wait for an answer. This is set to 30 seconds as default, but it can be changed. If the target does not answer within the specified time, the call will be rerouted. Dial IVR options allows you to enter in the number sequence needed to navigate an IVR system to your desired destination. With Disable Recordings, you can decide to not record calls going to this particular target. 
You can also set the time zone that your target is located in. With hours of operation, you can set the hours of the day you wish for this target to accept calls. You can select between the 12 and 24 hour time format, and if you'd like to be more specific, click Advanced, and you can set the hours for each day of the week and even add in breaks throughout the day. The next section, Cap Settings, allows you to set capacity limitations on calls for your target. You can set your cap to be based on conversions, connections, or by revenue. For each option, simply set the amount of calls you would like to limit the target to. You have the option for an overall amount, a monthly amount, a daily amount, or an hourly amount. The next section, Concurrency Settings, allows you to set how many simultaneous live calls this target will be able to receive. You can set the max number of concurrent calls overall, or you can set an hourly concurrent call limit. Restrict Duplicate Call Settings allows you to configure how your target will respond to duplicate calls. Route Info is the final piece of our new target. Set the priority of this target with a number value to tell Ringba the level of importance for this target, the number one being the highest priority. Weight is how you wish to balance calls with another target that shares the same priority level. Setting two targets with the same weight will result in a 50-50 split of call routing. Convert On allows you to set what qualifies as a conversion. You have the option of setting it to call length, call successfully connected, post backslash webhook, or dialed. Revenue is the amount of money that is generated per call for this target. Duplicate Conversions tells Ringba how to handle and credit duplicate conversions. You can either enable or disable the use of duplicate conversions, or you can set it to be only active during certain times of the day. Once you have filled in all necessary data and limitations, you can select Create Target. Now, under our routing plan, we have successfully added a target and set its rules for conversion. Thank you for watching this Ringba tutorial. If you have any more questions concerning Ringba, paper call, or call tracking, go ahead and visit www.ringba.com to get in touch with a Ringba expert and we'll be happy to help.